Hello there, and welcome back. In this video, I modify and paint a Nerf blaster to use as my blaster rifle. The Nerf gun I used is the Nerf N-Strike Elite AccuStrike Series Alpha Hawk. I chose this gun because 1. It looks cool, and 2. It doesn't really look like your typical nerf gun. It could pass as a Star Wars blaster, with, of course, a few modifications. The first thing I did was I used a sharpie to draw over all the logos and warnings and junk so I wouldn't miss any when I went to sand them off. Next, I unscrewed the gun. You might want to take a few pictures of the inside so it's easier to reassemble. I then took out all the organs. I sprayed them with gray primer, just to make sure you wouldn't see an orange glow or something radiating from the inside of the blaster once the rest of it was painted. If you want to keep your gun fully functional, I don't recommend you do this, as it will add a lot of friction to the moving parts, and thus the gun won't work as smoothly. You can also see I went ahead and painted some of the removable pieces. While those were drying, I sanded off the logos and warnings. I started with a Dremel, then went to coarse sandpaper, and ended using fine grit sandpaper. I decided to remove some parts of the gun, like the handguard and the sight. This was easy, as they were separate pieces from the gun body but I had to cover the holes that they left. I did this using Sintra. I wanted to make the stock removable, and because of the way it was held onto the main body, this was not too hard. I cut the poles down with the Dremel, so they acted like clips, and I sanded down parts of the gun so that the stock could slide and clip into place. I added magnets, thinking they could help hold the stock on, but they really didn't make much of a difference. But the magnets do hold on the cover piece, which I made out of Sintra. This piece is to cover the inside of the gun when the stock is off. Once I got the stock to work, I primed the outside of the gun to see how it looked. I then put spackle on some of the seams and sanded them smooth. I painted the outside of the gun black, having masked off the parts that I wanted to stay gray. I also added some gold stripes to match my armor. Then I put the entire gun back together. I needed to cover up the screw holes. You could do this by filling them with spackle, but I wanted to use a less permanent option. So I punched a bunch of holes in a sheet of cardstock and painted them black. Then I glued them on top of the screw holes. Next, I weathered the blaster by dusting it with silver paint. I also added black and brown weathering, mainly to the parts that weren't black. I then hid it with a gloss clear coat. Lastly, I sprayed some of the gray parts with a matte clear coat, just to add some variation in the shininess. And that 
was how I converted my Nerf Alpha Hawk Blaster into an Ambin Phase Pulse Cylinder Rifle. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Look at all those chickens.